Captain's log, Stardate 192.168.1.24. Me and my, cap uh, my science officer, Z-Tech, have been stranded on this planet for what I feel to be quite a fraction of this planet's uh, year cycle. I, uh, science officer, Z-Tech, how long do you feel we have been here now? Too long. <laughs> Too long indeed, I agree with you there. We la crash landed on this planet and we thought we were going to be gone in seconds. Like, we are masters of the technological world around us. But what do you know, trying to get the technological world back up and running from ores and coal and sunlight, it takes some time. It takes some time. And also, takes some furnaces. This might be a consideration that we have overlooked somewhat. How, how do you feel? Well, Captain... <laughs> I don't know if I want to burst your bubble, <laughs> but according to the onboard clocks we have in the suits, yes, we haven't been here longer than 50 hours. 50 hours? 50 hours? I Less feel like than we've 50 hours. 50 <laughs> I, I, I kind of feel like we've been here for so long though. I, I remember when the sun used to beat down upon us and now darkness. Darkness everywhere. Uh, I understand. Press P. P? Uh, fluids buildings. Oh, what? Uh, Fifty hours. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I, I would, I, I would say that the graph is obviously broken. It's, it's showing us not even twenty hours worth of, uh, of, of work there. Uh, that's, uh, that can't be. That cannot be. <laughs> well, Captain, I don't know. I mean, it's an onboard computer that, that just keeps time very well. I mean, we say this, but maybe, maybe we have been under the influence of gravitational effects. Because that obviously changes uh, our, our local time. Yes, but not... Well, the, the, the computer is also local. <laughs> the so... computer is indeed local. Uh, maybe maybe too local for the for the job we have given it. Maybe we need to get, reach a connection out. I'm not sure how we can do that. We need the rockets, obviously. Yeah, we do. But in order my, to get that uh, with... Sorry, yes. Uh, oh, sorry, I, my suit is giving me a bunch of alerts and it's saying solar panels and um, substations are the problem there. But I know that these are being made off off in the factory somewhere. But uh, this this also leads to our, our next problem is the lack of iron production. We last time upgraded our furnaces in an effort to try and make the iron production a little bit more expedited, more, more throughput, many, many more iron plates were needed. But unfortunately... They don't, that doesn't seem to have happened. The extra space that the furnaces take up have robbed us of some of the, the, the spaces for other furnaces. Uh, and I feel that we could do something oh about that. Oh, this this is a, a beautiful piece of um, budget work that I did. <laughs> we, we needed the solar panels all the way down here. It's not that the problem. It's the uh, green circuits. And that's because of copper, apparently. No, iron. Iron plates and copper, it's just not enough. Just not enough. Uh, okay, so iron is definitely the the highest priority. Uh, Captain, but, I, I suggest we just burn down this entire forest here. I, I, I agree. I find this situation vexing, and I too would like to go and do, cause some destruction. <laughs> oh, what, for putting furnaces down? Oh, well, that, that sounds like a reasonable plan. How else are we gonna release all all of all of the carbon trapped in the ground and yeah the, the, these I mean I wouldn't want to be cold on this planet I, uh, and our terraforming technology has shown us that if we keep pumping more pollution into the air that uh, I'd say pollution more uh, atmospheric enhancements into the air then we will be able to uh, keep this place warm for us I think I just threw a grenade at myself that was smart I think this is enough currently I agree I agree wholeheartedly I need no, to remember no, Captain, that. I, I really want to <laughs> there okay that's cool I, I could even repair this and I've yeah. just noticed that for the first time in our entire playthrough I might need to restock on my repair packs uh, we, we built an entire stack each right at the beginning, and now, yeah. finally, I am down to my last four. <laughs> I have <laughs> ten left. <laughs> you have ten. Did we build a machine for them? I, I doubt it somehow. This doesn't seem like something we would have prioritized. Uh, <laughs> it's iron and uh, green circuits. Who'd, who'd have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought that it's the two things that we need in a, a lot? But thankfully, there's a whole like belt full of them just over here. Beautiful green trees here. 
Beautiful green trees. I didn't know. I didn't know we had any left around in our base. Oh, yeah. that's close to the solar panels, of no pol not a lot of pollution, I'm guessing. No, it's, it's, the, it's the, the, the power of the green energy. It uh, infuses the, the trees for us. Yeah. Okay, so now we're just waiting for the solar panels to be built, and then the robots will put them away for us, and that will be amazing. Okay, so that's the, the first major hurdle covered. Yes. The second one is, of course, to make a big enough blueprint to actually make a furnace array that is worth putting down. Thankfully, the robots can just carry on and make this stuff for us. It's just the first one takes all of the resources before the second one can get any, and the first one is just... And that wouldn't work. That'll work. That'll do it. Slowly but surely. No, it won't. Ah. Uh, oh, wait, wait. I can fix this even more. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me fixing. I am good, Captain. Ah, the power pole is in the wrong place. I overkilled it. I, I like overkill. Overkill is the best kill. Yeah. Okay, that should work out well for I just want I just want to watch it pass and then I can be like, yes, I am indeed a good captain. <laughs> there we go, it worked, it worked. I am a good captain. I was looking at my inventory at the time, <laughs> good captain, <laughs> terrible reporter. Oh god, that's that is bad. What the noise or the power usage? The power usage Ooh. overnight. We are tanking. It's kind of... No, no, the accumulators are just about to run out. I believe that is actually why we built the what? second. No, the accumulators have 2.2 gigajoules installed. Oh, it's the production number. Sorry, my, 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 my mistake there. I was reading the wrong side of the bar. <laughs> it seems that we're... I think we should be good for the night. It, we but should be able to see through. We should, hopefully. But the problem is we're just about to add more electric furnaces that require... The current ones require 11.8 megawatts. 11... Um, how much does one of these solar arrays fetch us? In total, they have produced 1.1 megawatts. Whilst the furnaces are the biggest draw, we do also have a lot of other stuff that draws. Yeah, we survived the night with no problems. Wonderful. Okay, okay, that's that's good. Oh, and there goes the accumulator power. It's recharged. Where are they running with those green circuits? Hey, little robots, what are you doing? Okay, <laughs> Captain Strode, <laughs> it's becoming daytime. Uh, it is becoming when, So the solar panels are just producing uh, 24, 25, 26. Uh, is it enough to... S I think it should be enough to basically turn off the steam engines. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, the steam engines are properly dropping down. There we go. They're they are in the the kilowatt range. Yep, Zero. They, yep, they definitely oh. dropped out. Oh, it depends what's going on where. <laughs> so I hear we need another <laughs> another um, solar array set up, but it's going to take some time. Even, this wasn't even finished. So no, this one's not finished. I see what you're saying. Yeah, there are many solar panels yet to go in. It's gonna take some time. But it basically we need to fix the. Uh, in order to fix the power problem, we need to spend power to make more power. Ah, uh, the the old, uh, old adage of you need to spend power to make power. We we've all heard this before. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's make our giant smelting facility right here. Right here. Uh, so are we taking iron in here and then maybe moving the iron train further down? Maybe. Captain, I have a proposal that might be stupid in the long term. Oh, we've been here so long and I've been waiting for this. Please, go ahead. <laughs> we make a giant furnace, uh, a furnace setup, and we pump everything in we need to smelt. Oh, a furnace enough? proposal. Yeah, oh, yes, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, you've got to make a proposal to me. Not today. <laughs> Uh, uh, one day in the future, when we get over our current crises, maybe we're ready then. <laughs> but right now, we have too much on our plates. We, we make a giant furnace that uh, has the ability to just we pump everything in we need to smelt. Like stone, copper, and iron. And then okay. on the exit, we basically sort it. Uh, let's give it a go! I have never seen anybody do that in, uh, in, in all my operating experience. I wonder but why. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. We will find out why. So we're going to feed all materials in from the bottom and well, break them back. I, I, I'm not sure about the stone. The only reason I'd say I'm not sure about the stone is because stone has a habit of backing up. And if it backs up through the entire system, we won't get any iron or copper out. But both iron and copper get eaten in, in, in 
regular amounts. Like, yes. <laughs> prestigious amounts. That said, yeah. copper is now also back. Well, we did consume 776,000 iron ore while we were here. Wow. That is quite a large number there. We're progress. Progress moves on. <laughs> you you realize that's nowhere close to the consumption of the human race. Okay, so we need furnaces, and for that we need stone. We have a lot of stone production and furnace production, I think. We so. do. Oh, it's it's my short... I've got the blue... I got No, this blueprint was horrible, I remember now. Right, I, I reckon we need at least double this. I put another one. Oh, I didn't get the outside there. <laughs> I've got a bad blueprint, I need to do it again. <laughs> nice drones. I like work the drones. Hard. They def yeah, they definitely work hard for us. <laughs> they've I, I've, I have a feeling that since we installed the drones, they've done more work for us than we did during the, <laughs> the previous. <laughs> like, just look at that floor they put down. <laughs> and the first thing I'm going to do is go around and find places to put lights, because it's got very dark around here. <laughs> Light that is consuming our power supply. Well, it's no good if we can't see. Okay. 415 objects are missing, though that is dropping all the time. For te Wait, how are we going up and down? <laughs> 500 uh, objects are missing. Because uh, I just added a new... Uh, oh, th this you? area wasn't covered at all with uh, drone coverage. Ah, let's look at the map. Yeah, I see, I see. Oh, the stone train left. Wow, I <laughs> never noticed that the stone train's gone. That will be all the uh, the furnaces we're making, right? Yeah. Wow, we got through our first train load of stuff. I'm not entirely sure it is our first train load, but it's the first train load that I've seen get consumed. Well, yeah, it takes some time, but we did it finally. Um, yeah, 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 did it. Here's a question, Captain. Are we actually supplying drones with uh, belts? Oh, you know what? I think that is a very pertinent question, because I don't believe we are. Let's go and have a look. If we can get another RoboPort somewhere near the belt production facility, and then just upgrade all the end chests to providers, that would be pretty good. No. No, they are definitely not covered. Here's the here's the red belt box. Uh, well, let's change it to a uh, red one. I've got two more. I'm going to do like these bottom ones here. Bam. Slam it down! <laughs> Bam, nice, nice. Okay, so yeah, the the coverage area definitely has those boxes. That's good. And now we should be seeing some, ro here they come. Here's some robots. Go little robots, let's watch you do your thing. I'm gonna follow these guys around. It's gonna be great. <laughs> okay, they've grabbed a belt. Oh, no, I'm gonna follow this pack because there's more <laughs> of them. <laughs> because there's more. Uh, you know, mob rule, man, mob rule. <laughs> You never want to be part of the small group. All that ends up is you being shouted out. Look, there's another big group there. Yeah. I like watching their <laughs> pathing as well, because obviously as they get close to the, the robo port or the, the chest or whatever it is they're trying to deal with, they all group up. But then as they all get their uh, their different uh, job end points, they, they fracture yeah. yeah, it's nice. <laughs> oh, can they only charge four at a time here? Yep. You know what? I had never noticed this tiny detail on the RoboPort where it's got a charging point on each corner. Is there a way of up upping that? Nope. Oh, well, uh, just placing more. More, more RoboPorts. Okay. They need to make a, a, a little standalone charger base for it. There is a mod. There is a mod. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Expanded technology is what it's all about. Yeah. Uh, I think there is a single that you are ordering green circuits and that's why there is a single robot just bringing it <laughs> let's get, to let's you. Let's get rid of those. Yeah, you were right, I was. <laughs> oh, we, do we have inserters as well put in a chest? Ah, blue insert. Uh, you know what, I was looking at that going, I'm sure there's something wrong there. Okay, let's <sighs> have a look. I was going to do it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Yep, I love it. Ah, I love it. Oh, I also love these robots going back and forth. Rip to the, uh, the report watchers as Impression algorithm destroys it, but it looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the furnaces appear to be set up. As you commented a, a mere second ago, uh, it seems that we've got about six times the furnacenessness. Uh, furnace so furnaceness, okay. The, the furnaceness. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like a furnace, you know, furnaceness. <laughs> Though we have this uh, strip down the middle where, unfortunately, because we took the uh, the blueprint from this tile design here, it didn't quite tile together in the same way when we brought it out. Now, I do have a few... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? A few of these power poles to, to run down. Though I do feel slightly 
slightly dirty doing it. We were trying to get all the uh, all the That's substations fine. working. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll make do. Could you check how the amount of construction robots we have currently? Uh, yeah, do I just click on a robot report, right? Well, just hover over it. 169 out of 186. So 186 is the number you actually want. Yeah, 186 robot ports. They're uh, construction ro robots. Yeah, in 32 the logistics. Yeah, in the system. Is there an item that will just... Like, I know we can make a, 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 a factory unit that will keep making robots for us, but is there a way to then automatically deploy those, or do we need to put them out? Uh, so... We need to do it on our own, I think. Oh, but maybe we can... Use an inserter to just put it into a robot uh, port. Because having, like, automatically just building up an infinite number of drones would be pretty cool. I, I can see we would run into issues if we uh, let the infinite drone army continue, but uh see what we can do about it. Yeah. I mean, AI safety. It's an old topic. <laughs> <laughs> no need to discuss it, I think. Uh, simple enough, you just never give your AI the internet. I mean, I don't, I don't know why people always had to struggle about it so hard. Oh, did you cut off the iron? Did I cut oh, no, off? the iron no, just, did, just... We're waiting on the train, which should, hopefully... Oh, there is a problem. Oh, he's out of fuel. Which oh, one is out of fuel? One of the green ones. Oh. <laughs> so we need... <laughs> uh, we would need you a go... refuel station. Yeah. I, I'll make it here, I'll make it here. Yeah, I'm gonna... Grab a bunch of coal, because it's really close, and then I'm going to run on run out that way. So, Kev... Yes, yeah. science officer. <laughs> Actually, that, that, that one work. was a little bit extreme on that crash. Let's <laughs> get out and immediately fix this. <laughs> you know what? It's a wonder that it's taken me this long to get through the repair kits. Who knew that our biggest weakness would still be coal? <laughs> I think you'll find our biggest weakness is ourselves. Oh, nice. I like the refuel. I like the refuel. I am going to watch the first of our new batch of iron get made. Beautiful. Beautiful. The uh, the lack of inserters is holding us back a little bit. Well, we are making it automatically, so it's fine. That's it, yeah. It's just a case of wait. There we go. Um, immediately, we're off to making so many plates. Oh, I see a problem with the line here. Oh, I thought we'd emptied the iron train immediately. <laughs> I was like, wow, that was good. <laughs> Simply not bringing enough iron. That's now the problem. Um, Real question is, are we going to be able to move enough iron from these? Yeah, no, we need to route all the iron up through the thing. I'm just wondering how much, how many lines of iron we'll need. Well, I suppose we only only need one because that's all we've got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically not combining it. And there we go. Full belts. Oh, what's slowing us down here? Well, because we're splitting it, so. Mm. I'm gonna say we just do this, yep. do that. Yep, beautiful. I love it. 